today we're going to make a popsicle sea turtle craft. So for this craft, you'll need three popsicle sticks, some colored yarn, a hot glue gun. You'll also need some acrylic paint and a black marker. All right, so your first step is to paint your three popsicle sticks green. So I've got my three green ones here. So next, you're going to use your hot glue gun and you're going to glue them, stack them up and glue them in a shape like that. All right. those dry. So this will be your base for your sea turtle, so your head and your feet. So what you'll do is you'll take your black marker and you can draw a little face on your sea turtle and some little lines for his toes. Should look something like this. Hopefully your glue has dried and it's nice and firm. So then your first step is you can do this all in a single color of yarn or you can use multiple colors. I'm going to use different shades of green. So you'll take your first piece of yarn and you'll tie him around the middle. You'll want to leave a little bit extra and not cut it off because you can tie your next color of yarn to that first piece then by leaving that. And then you'll take and wrap it around, sorry, about two to three times each way just to build your base. So once you have your base wrapped a few times, so we're gonna start the God's eye pattern. So it would be to go under one, go over to your next and wrap it around. Go over that one, go to the next one and wrap it around. Over to the next one and wrap it around. So you'll wanna do this bunch of times until you start getting kind of that shell shape that you want. Um, we're gonna do ours a few times over in each color. And I'll show you how to switch your colors. Make sure you're wrapping onto the top like that or else that's how the bottom looks. All right, so then if you wanted to say switch a color, you simply tie a knot in this one. Leave a little bit of string hanging off so you can add your third color to it. I'm gonna go back to that original string and we're gonna tie a knot on these. Tie it 
together. tight and you can cut off your excess then once you have your second color on there you'll start your pattern the same way again and then we're gonna add in our third color to finish it off all right so then you'll add your third color And you can start in again on that same pattern. So once you've made your shell as big as you want, you just cut off your excess and then you're all done. These are super cute and really easy for little kids to make. 